Hey guys, and welcome back to the Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Flippin' Finds Diner by Spontaneously Combustible Games. It's for two to four players, about ages eight and up, and for about 15 to 30 minutes, how long it takes to play the game. In the game Flippin' Finds Diner, you're going to be basically trying to complete orders. There's gonna be orders on the board, and you're going to do stuff like you used to do as a kid with the whole matching style game where you flip over an apple and you're looking for another apple on the board and you flip those over, but you're gonna be doing it for different menu items. You wanna make a hamburger? You're you're gonna need a bun, you're gonna need meat, lettuce, and tomato. And so as you're going throughout the board picking these ones up, you're going to be set showing them to everybody else. And if you can get all the components to the ingredients you need for each of the cards, you'll select the card and take it as points. Sometimes you're gonna be able to get tips on the board as well. There's different actions that you can take too. After you gather the cards, they're gonna have little actions you can use on your turn. And you're gonna go back and forth with players as they try to collect as well. Whenever you don't collect anything, you're gonna put those cards back down and let somebody else have a go. The person with the most money at the end of the game is gonna be the winner. Let me show you how to play. So here we have Flip and Finds Diner, and as you can see, I've gone ahead and set the board already. These are all the different tiles that are all going to have the different ingredients for all the different recipes. Sometimes you're going to be able to get things like this, which is a tip, but mostly you're going to be getting stuff like this, like buns or tomato or mushroom, these kind of things. The game is going to start by a 5x5 five five grid, and you're also going to start with five menu items. You're going to get a menu deck and a tip deck. Tip decks are going to give you points, and whenever you pick up a tip card along with the correct ingredients for one of these cards, you're going to get a tip card. So this is going to give you one dollar at the end of the game. So for instance, like I said, you this tip here, this thing over here says beef and noodles. If I were to flip over beef, noodles, and this tip, I would get this card and I would go ahead and get one of these cards as well. Uh, as the menu items are getting passed along to players, they will go into their hands and a new menu item will come up onto the board. As well as whenever you've taken off these uh, little tiles here, you're going to be discarding and getting rid of them to get these cards here. You'll be replacing with new tiles from this deck of tiles here. Before we get into the turns, let's go ahead and discuss it above. So I've went ahead and showed you what's going to be in the game is how to set it up as well. On your turn, it's pretty simple. You're going to flip over four tiles and if you get a match for any of the menu items here, you're going to take that card into your hand. You can use one menu item card from your hand. Uh, at a turn and they will do different things. These menu items can say stuff like this. Search the discard pile for an ingredient to complete your order. Ooh, that's a really good one. Or when you're making a BLT, peek at a tile and then put it back. So you can see what it is beforehand. Nobody else gets to, gets to look even if you don't get the menu item. When you get at least one menu item, uh, that might end your turn, but you can get up to two. No more than two when you're pulling over the four tiles. And unless you use specific cards, they might let you have five tiles or six tiles, depending on what you're going to be using. After your turn is done, you're going to either collect the card from the menu or you're not and the play will pass to the next player and any tiles that were not taken to make a menu item are going to stay on the board. If tiles were taken you're going to replace them like I said before and you're going to get any tips that you can, can collect based on if you flip over a tip and the correct menu items for the cards. That's basically how you play the game going back and forth. So let me show you how to play a couple turns. So we're now back to the board and we're just going to begin the game. It's pretty simple. This player over here will start and he's going to pick four tiles and he's going to be trying to get one of these menu items. Here's steak sandwich, chicken, uh, chicken, Chekatori, a stroganoff, BLT, and a steak sandwich. And they have the different costs or uh, bonus you're going to get at the end of the game. So you need $4. You get $4 for these guys, two, three, four. And then also you're going to have actions. You can play these cards from your hand. Now, no matter if they're in front of you, after being played or in your hand at the end of the game, they're going to count towards the total as well as counting these tip cards, which are going to give you bonuses as well. So we'll begin flipping four cards over. Oh, we got buns here. So buns is going to be useful in a BLT. It's going to be useful in a steak sandwich. And it's going to be useful in... In, oh, two steak sandwiches. Okay, so not these guys here. Let's flip over something else. Okay, we got mushrooms here, so that would take this guy off, but now we're just looking for steak sandwich. So we're going to need peppers and beef, which is going to be hard because we got to get four out of four here. Uh, we got beef there. All right, that's that's getting there. Now all we need is peppers. Can we find it? Uh, nope. We found beef again. So that player's turn would be ended. These would get flipped back over, and the next player would get to start. Now he gets to know what he remembers what these things are here, so he can start anywhere else on the board. Maybe he's gonna be looking for peppers if he can pull it off. But he got chicken, and chicken is good for chicken cacciatore. So we have mushrooms, noodle, and tomato. And I think this one is, oh, this is buns, dang it. See, my memory's terrible with these games though. So he's gonna go ahead and check around the other pieces of the board here to see if he can find something different. So he's got chicken here, two chickens, a tip, and a bun. Had he been able to complete something, he would have actually gotten a, uh, a card, but maybe the next player can do that. So now it's the next player's turn. You can play up to four players. And so he's gonna turn over, he's got mushroom here. And then this one over here is the beef because maybe we can go for the steak sandwich. All we need is peppers and a bun. No, not this. Yeah, this is the buns. Oh, see, there you go. Now I gotta find pepper. Where is pepper? Nope. Dang it. Yeah. Now, so it's always different. Like, you don't know what you're gonna be getting, right? 
But now um, nah, there's another bun, so oh well. And let's see if I can get the next like, next player's turn here. Mm, beef and noodles is a good idea too. Maybe we can find beef and noodles. Let's, oh, there we go. Noodles and beef. Okay, so the next player's actually got something. He's got stroganoff here, so that's one of the things. Um, he's, he can pull from two more. He'll get the tip right here. You guys remember that? And he'll pull over here. Okay, so he takes his beef and his noodles and the tip. He takes stroganoff. That's all his. These are useless now. He's got his stroganoff here. It's with $2 at the end of the game. He's going to replace these tiles here, flip over the one he didn't use, and uh, make sure the board is all filled up. And also because he got a tip, he's going to take one of the tip cards. We know what that one is, so we'll just go ahead and shuffle the deck, whatever, and take this one right there. Nobody else knows what that is, but it's 50 cents. So he's got 250 right now towards the end of the game. And we'll flip over another one of these things. Oh, steak and mushrooms. Okay, so we need beef and mushrooms. Okay, can we find... There's noodles mushrooms buns this is the beef no see how terrible my memory is you guys are probably getting it better than i am but you get the idea of the game eventually players are going to figure out uh wh what they need and they're going to be getting the uh combinations here so now i got bacon tomato trying to remember all these is very very important and players are going to keep turning these guys over looking for the menu items and as they get them collecting them now the last thing i didn't show you is let's say this player got in his turn again this one here says you may flip five ingredients instead of four that's very useful he can play this card face up as opposed to it being in his hand when he plays it it's no longer able to be used and he only can play one card a turn but he's going to get the ability and he gets to keep the two dollars for the end of the game so now i can pull five let's try one more time Buns, two buns, man, my memory's awful. Chicken, beef, and peppers. Ah, oh, there's the, there are those nasty peppers we've been looking for. So that way the next player might be able to get um, the beef, buns, mushrooms, and peppers for the steak sandwich. But alas, I did not because I'm terrible at memory games. But that is how you play the game nevertheless. At the end of the game, you're going to be adding up all of the cards you have, either in front of you, face up, or in your hand, that are the ingredients, uh, I mean, sorry, the stakes, the full-on orders, or as well as taking the tip cards and adding those together as well. Whoever has the most money at the end of the game is going to be the winner of Flip and Finds Diner. So what do I think about Flip and Finds? Well, first of all, as you saw, it is a flipping game matching tile game. There's a lot of games out there that are kind of like this game in terms of like, uh, finding the apple, and then you flip it over and find another apple. But in this game, you're finding menu items, multiple menu items, and they're all worth different things, and they all provide a different uh, action. So sometimes you might want to be uh, looking for something that's more expensive, like a steak sandwich, and it says you get two matching tiles can be used as any one tile. So if you flip over two that are beef, you can turn that into any tile you need. That will then be, maybe be get, you the, get you the ability to get something like this, beef and mushrooms, because it doesn't require four. But the most money is going to be the winner. And it works great. I like these kind of games. I like matching tile games. Some might consider it a little samey because it is similar to a lot of other games. But what makes it unique is, like I said, the additional menu items flipping over more than just two cards, as well as the fact that you're going to be getting tips. So remembering those tip locations is very useful and it's going to give you extra money throughout the game. And not only that, but using the action card abilities. Those things are going to turn the tide in some of the games. Trying to keep that memory jogging is going to be very useful. If you like matching games, memory games, this is definitely going to be a game for you. I'm personally not super good at it. As you can see, you probably already could see a bunch of different uh, combinations that I couldn't based on a little playthrough I have of the game. But nevertheless, it's fun. I've enjoyed playing this game. We've played it multiple times over multiple occasions, and people have asked me to play it again. So it works with little kids, and it works with full-grown adults. It has a wide variety of of a family style game uh, there's not a huge amount of artwork but there is a little bit um, and it's based on the cards over here as well as the uh, little tiles they have basically the beef and and the different uh, chefs doing different things on the cards they're fun and it works it reminds me kind of like that burger game from the old Nintendo or art Atari style get burnt order up or whatever it's called because of the style spontaneous combustible games has done a game previously called pest and it kind of has that same artwork style which I really like so if you like that kind of a style game if you like if you enjoy this if you think it'd be something you'd be interested in, I would definitely check out and I do recommend it because I really enjoy this game. I'm just not so good at it.